on hashtag Friday Feels, we're ready for a little bar school. Pun intended. We've got the creator of Bar School himself, Bo Robinson, in the house. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for inviting me. It's a pleasure so, to be here. We connected. Of course, he was behind the bar. I went to this French restaurant I'm dying to go to uh, with our executive producer, and we were like, you wanted to be a host. We had, the, we had the conversation. I think it's absolutely incredible because so many people in Los Angeles are pursuing so many passions and you have to fund that passion. And you've created the perfect balance with bar school. Yeah. So tell us about it. I've taken something I love to do, which is bartending, which is you know feeding people drinks, getting to know somebody, taking a story and listening to them and truly um, uh, digesting what they have to offer. And I'm combining it with my other passion, which is to host, to make one show called Bar School. Yeah. And, and there um, it is. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. It looks incredible, and it, it's not easy to do that in LA. We know that you've been at it for four years, mm -hmm. so cheers to that. Thank you. Like I said, I mean, the easiest thing I can do is wake up in the morning and create this power list of everything I need to get done, because, you know, I shoot on a Saturday, I start to edit the next day, I lay down, you know, my uh, rough cut, and then I mm -hmm. find my B-roll on Monday, and I insert that, and then I find the music, mm -hmm. and once I uh, get to Thursday, it's all right, I gotta market it to launch Friday mornings. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a full week worth of work on top of your regular schedule of bartending. So is there wow. one so, drink that has been, you know, watched the most, viewed the most, for people to learn how to make a particular drink? Yeah, actually the mojito is uh, my most popular uh, so far. And it, I loved it because I got in the edit room and I started editing this thing together and it was just, it just fell in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like that one where you're clicking, you're loving what you're, do, you're doing and uh, it, everything comes it's together. It's the flow? Yeah, it's just the, it's it's the, the flow. flow. Exactly. Yes. And it's my favorite episode because it shows my, my quirkiness or I think I'm just a goofy guy. Yeah. So it's just me being goofy in front of the camera and, and I loved it. And my old fashioned is my second favorite. <laughs> Pulled in Don Draper. How did you feel like you're most in flow, though? Uh, most in flow, I you know when I get in my workspace and everything is clicking. Um, you, you know it, you can. There's so many files and folders you're pulling things from where you can just go to that perfect file. And you're like, oh, no problem, no stutters. And you just insert it in the clip and everything clicks. So <laughs> or actually finding music is probably the oh. hardest thing. Have you ever tried to really? buy royalty-free music? Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm, sure, I'm sure that you've met so many different types of people, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you've met a lot of narcissists, I'm sure. As well. <laughs> yeah. Like, what would you say is like your favorite person that you meet? What is their personality? What What are those traits that when, make someone s like stand out? When people come to drink, they come to have fun. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm looking for the most. And mm -hmm. I just want to feed off that energy and have fun with them. And um, I find out that, you know, people that come into a bar don't necessarily know a lot about drinking or a lot about alcohol. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to educate them as well. And it's just a, a fascinating rapport that you develop with somebody after they come in multiple times and you get to know them a little bit. It's just great. That's so cool. Yeah. So in addition to being a host and uh, a teacher, of course, um, how much of your work requires you being a therapist? <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. yeah right. I, I like to say that I feed somebody a drink and we talk about it. Yeah, problems. right? Yeah. It's true. Wow. It's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. So let's feed us a drink and talk about our problems. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I have actually decided that I want, I think everybody's a little bit of a bartender. I mean, I don't know if you were in college or you're a host of a party, but everybody has a little bit of a bartender inside of them. Sure. So we're going to make three really easy cocktails that you've made a thousand times. We're going to put the bartender spin on them. Okay. okay. So just not, they're not just cocktails. Yeah. They have names. Love it. So the first one, Jeslyn, would you do me the honor and okay. go ahead and make me my first cocktail? Oh, no pressure. I'm going to need a nice glass. And the pressure's off me. That's what I was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Good first man. Move. I'm, I'm already nails. failing. I can't get the ice. Is there a certain amount of ice, or am I making that this and you're going to judge me? Okay. But we are going to put in two ounces of this vodka right here, and okay. uh, two ounces all the way to the top, and you're going to pour it in a glass. Okay. So do you ever free pour, or do you always well, measure this out? Uh, depends on the restaurant you're in. Which one? I love to free pour. Okay, <laughs> so this is a little orange juice and a little vodka. I like to go equal parts. That's great. Wow, yeah. equal parts. Just the taste the, like the question is, do you know the name taste of that it. cocktail? Screwdriver. Oh, she Look nailed it. That. First try. Thank you. Thank right. you. No line. Cheers. No line. Uh, you want to wait for everybody else? No, I'd like you to taste my cocktail. <laughs> Guess I have to approve, right? Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> the proportions are right on. <laughs> Very nice. I have to admit, I was a bartender in college. Oh. I worked at a piano bar called Mojo's. We'd get up on the <laughs> bar like Coyote Ugly style, and we'd all have like dance numbers for certain songs. Really? I had a lot of fun. Did you ever play the piano? No. no, and I didn't get very good grades that year, but it was like, it was <laughs> 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 funny. Either way, you have having fun. Yes. Would you mind doing me the honor of doing okay. the second cocktail? Well, I think oh, so. oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, gee. So a lot of times the trend is to have these huge ice cubes. What is the reason behind that? Is it just for the looks? Oh, uh, I, I, I think this, a lot of Do I pour this in looks. first? Does it matter? No, which? we're going to do the two ounces of vodka first. Or it does. You have to do that first. So it, That's what I like to do first. Mm. Um, it, two it, ounces? Every well, bartender I like have... a very weak drink. So could I make ha like sure. one? I Aaron may already be drunk off the smell of the Like, honestly, right I now. take one sip and get the heavy. I don't feel so well. A little tiny pour. That's perfect. Okay, so your proportions aren't equal. You like heavy on the juice, huh? Heavy on the juice. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody's got their own. I like to share. Is that really bad? I like to share a drink. Not at all. <laughs> You're Dr. Kennedy. You gotta, but, but now I have to judge this. And okay. I like my drink strong. I think the Don't biggest part me. about bartending is knowing your guest. Mm. So knowing that you like them yes. weak, I would prepare it that way. Mm -hmm. But mm. if I'm drinking it, I'm going to go... If you can put sugar or salt on the rim, then I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the proportions just on right. You know? oh. It's not, not what I'm looking for, but I love it. It's great. Do you know the name of this drink? Uh, it's a Greyhound. Oh, oh, oh I do for two. How does that happen? You know that drink. You know you have to get it now. Oh, man. I channeled that. Just deep. listen to the higher. So uh, let's do ice first. I got you. Ice first. All right. You could have done it neat. Neat would be without ice, right? Yeah, neat would be without ice. Could you, Jazz? Well, she did it before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take two. You're pouring two like a the, pro, though. Four, four, <laughs> four, My four ounces. I've been for a while. <laughs> four <laughs> ounces that instead of like two. That was like Miami Club table service yeah, style. Yeah, yeah. Right? You almost took the bottle yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one's got a little trickier of a name. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, see, I'm not going to get it then. Because... So like I the lime for that one. You need a it's lime. a cranberry vodka. Oh, I want you to think about where cranberry is. Oh, I know what it is. I even I don't even drink when I know what this is. What is it? It's a cape. Caught or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Very nice. Nice, Aaron. Nice. nice. I've Goodness, never known Benny. that. Two well, my mom drank a lot. Let's just no, I got a taste of it, too. Oh, yeah, I don't know how mine's going to be. So just, you oh, have to have a lime with lime. it. Oh, yeah. that's very well versed. Jeez, see? It's good experience. I think you, you, want, you want to try I, it? I've dated a lot of alcoholics, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can learn something from everyone. That's true. That's a good Cape Cod. All right. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Now you are all bartenders. So what, what kind of would be your favorite normal? I think I would I would be more likely to probably drink that one is probably what I would. Yeah? yeah. Unless it was fresh. D depends, oh. on, depends on my morning. I usually like OJ in the morning. morning. Oh, yeah. so. In the morning? <laughs> <laughs> you guys ask me how I start my day, right? <laughs> Nothing right. wrong with a screwdriver. Well, cheers. <laughs> Here's to Bar School. Thank you so much. Tell so people sure. where they can find you. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys can find me on Instagram at, at Bar School. That's B-A-R underscore S-K-O-O-L. Mm -hmm. And you can also find me on Facebook at Bo Robinson. Thank right. you, Bo. Straight to we'll be back with more. Mm -hmm. Good morning, La La Land.